uh, your mission is to uh, kill him and ascertain the uh, what kind of equipment he has been trading in and recover any intelligence as to who he's been selling things to. Um, you have at your disposal um, vehicles that we've managed to get in country as well as Eagle One will be on station for fire support should you need it. Um, this is a very heavily civilian populated area uh, as far as the towns and cities go and the airport. So you need to PID your targets, but none of them are armed. So anybody who is, has a gun, you are clear to engage. Um, going to, you're going to be inserted to a small forward operating base that we have. Um, from there, you'll have to drive to the objective, get eyes on the target when he arrives at the airport and follow him to his destination. I suggest you use Eagle to track his position and uh, find out where he's storing his equipment. Um, destroy any targets of opportunity you may find as far as uh, military structures or equipment, but do recover the intel uh, on what, um, who he's been selling to. Any... Do we know what the intel will be on his person? Um, there could be intel on his person. Um, there could be intel at his base of operations, or um, that's most likely where he's going to have it. Um, very, very unlikely. I mean, it, it's very. It's not going to be anywhere weird. It's going to be in a very obvious place for the most part. Upon finding the intel, uh, do you want ground forces to uh, to follow up on the intel? Um, at this time, you're just to recover it and bring it back. Uh, it's possible that if if we, it would, depending on what we recover, if we can act on the intelligence, then we will, but uh, we don't know what we're going to find yet. Roger that. So, three objectives, kill the target, recover intelligence, and determine what he was selling and who he was selling it to. Roger. Do we know where this base of operations is, or are we to find that out via Eagle's tracking? Uh, he primarily transports his goods through sea and through air, um, because obviously he's not selling in Russia. Mm -hmm. um, so your best bet is going to be either a uh, naval port of some kind or a um, or a uh, airport of some kind. Gotcha. And uh, it's not time sensitive, right? So we can let him get to that location and then storm it if we so choose. Uh, correct. Yeah, it's not going to be time sensitive. Obviously, the HV if the HVT decides to leave, you need to make sure he is killed before he gets out. Cut, you know, escapes country. But um, you can let him get to his destination before you engage him. Roger. Basically, for this mission, because I'm pretty much going to be the one tracking the HVT most of the time, I uh, I want to make sure I stay pretty high above the ground. I'm going to probably maintain about 2,500 AGL. Probably greater. I also want to make sure my settings are good. Hammer one, this is Eagle One. Okay, so fine. Uh, be advised, Eagle, I've set uh, hammer and ground units on long range 3 0. Hitman will uh, talk to you via 3 5. Solid copy. Hitman, this is Eagle One, radio check frequency 3 5. Hitman, this is Eagle One. Radio check frequency 3-5. We have a new Hitman element. Uh, one moment, Eagle. He's uh, just setting up his comms. Solid copy. Uh, Eagle will also monitor 3-0 uh, just in case. Over. Yeah, roger that, Eagle. Uh, command is...
Two attack on three five. A firm JTAC, uh, what's your call sign over? Hitman. A firm, roger that. What are you doing? Got quite a lot of people on today. So this is kind of everything here. It's a little dark, I know, but uh, that's what we're working with. So I'm on LR35, and I'm not going to get engage unless authorized. Uh, you got Hammer 1 on 100. Hammer 6 is the command element on 3-0. And Eagle's on LR35 with Hitman. So I'm be working pretty much with a JTAC role most of the time. And then uh, these are the objectives. So uh, we're to eliminate an HVT that will be landing at this airstrip. However, he will have a base he's going to located possibly somewhere in a harbor or an air base. Uh, so we want to make sure we get that. So I'm going to once I uh, get confirmed visual target via ground, I will uh, via ground forces. I am to track that target and strike it or recon it for ground forces until they can strike it. And we're going to recover some intel and RTB with it. Of course there are sibs in the AO so we got to watch out for that. Stalker doesn't have enough that doesn't have a short range channel yet. But now this is primarily for people that join. I already got my bowls set up and everything. Uh I'm pretty much I don't need it, but if anyone's there, if anyone hops in, Buffalo or anything, we'll have it. That way so we can uh coordinate where ground where ground and air is coming from from the bowls. Uh, I'm probably going to set it up closer now that I think about it. I'll set it over here in the bay. Uh, the way the bulls work, if you're not familiar with it, is it's uh, radial dials. Eagle dial one, this is hammer six. Message over. Hammer six, this is eagle one on LR three five. Send it. Just checking in. Uh, intel from Godfather suggests uh, you're going to want to fly at an extremely high altitude. Long range radio check. We're going to be relying on your intel uh, as to what vehicle, what the vehicle type is that he gets into. And while That's you're flying change. overhead, we're going to want to maintain uh, what order he is in a uh, convoy if he joins one. It's possible he might join Still a convoy right. and split off and go a different direction. So we're going to have to keep eyes on whatever vehicle he gets in once he's boarded it and uh, maintain eyes until he gets to his destination. How copy. 30 checking. Eagle 1, good copy. Uh, we'll maintain lock on uh, HVT when he boards vehicle. And uh, I'm planning on staying above 5,000. Over. All right, sounds perfect, Eagle. Uh, make sure you also got those fuel canisters on there. We don't want you to have to RTB partway through and then miss where his uh, end destination is. Long range check. Ready? Hey, for a All right, hammer six out for now while I finish organizing these guys. Once we head to the FOB, I'll uh, give you the go ahead to take check off and uh, begin heading down south. Lima Charlie, 3 0.
Hammer 1, this is Hammer 6. Make sure some of your guys take uh, AT with you. Uh, once we do start engaging the convoy or wherever the HVT is, we can expect heavy resistance from the Russians. They will not want us to take out their man. I'll copy. Roger, Hammer 1 copies. Hammer, interesting. I like it. Eagle one taking off runway three three. Alright, so we're a preliminary scouting team. Once we get HPT's location, we're gonna try it. Now it's fair to say that this would be much easier than the ten. Oh, you didn't send me to give your guys about uh, three more bikes to get set up. We won't have an arsenal once we head to the fall, but until we're fully set up, um, you can tell suggest that uh, the Tony might join a convoy and then split off. We're going to be relying heavily on Eagle's intel to make sure we know where that target's going. The Russians have no idea that we're going to be in the AO, so they're not expecting any kind of uh, patrols or anything like that. We'll just be uh, a bunch of civilians and civilian vehicles. Okay. This is Eagle One, Long Range Three Five. Hammer Six, this is Eagle One, Long Range Three Zero, check over. Long Range Charlie Three Zero, Eagle. Roger, uh, Eagle has eyes on convoy uh, mounted up, ready to go, reporting. Four times vehicles facing south break. Uh, got uh, three times or one times uh, UAZ, looks like a Ural, and a gun truck or two. Over. Solid copy, Eagle. Uh, make sure you maintain your altitude and observations until the target has been spotted. Uh, once you have eyes on the target, let us know, and then again, once you see what vehicle he's got in the convoy it is. Solid copy ground. Uh, just a quick report. Uh, Eagle's altitude and uh, targeting systems do not have uh, the range of magnification in order to identify over. Solid copy Eagle. Uh, Uh, Eagle One's going to lower his altitude to about 2,500 and uh, see if I can see better over. Okay, flaps down all the way there. Set the coast out.
did, they'd have to confirm visual. I can get a vehicle ID, but they're going to have to confirm visual for me. Hammer 6, this is Eagle. Eagle, this is Hammer 6, send your traffic. Eagle reports uh, one times enemy, bo one times bogey on radar. Uh, we'll track it now. Over. Solid copy, Eagle. Uh, be sure to keep your distance as well. That's probably our target coming in to land at the airstrip. Hammer six out. Hammer said long shot. Message over. Send your traffic. Long shot. Uh, the, Roger, we have eyes on, looks like, the vehicle convoy. Uh, I tally two gases and one UAZ with Dishka. Over. Solid copy, long shot. Thanks to the intel. Hammer 6, long shot. We got eyes on, looks like a little bird landing at the airfield. Uh, might be possible, HPT, over. So I copy a long shot, make sure you ID the targets. Hammer 6 is a long shot, we have eyes, uh, we have a pretty positive identification, man wearing a suit and with a bandolier meeting a soldier, uh, looks like it is the HFD, over. Solid copy, long shot, maintain eyes and make sure you see which vehicle he gets into, uh, we're gonna wanna know what order in the convoy it is, uh, so that Eagle can track it if the convoy splits off from his vehicle, how copy? Copy, I'll launch it up. Hammer 6, this is Eagle 1. Send your traffic, Eagle 1. Uh, Eagle 1 saw one thermal contact enter a uh, vehicle, currently tracking vehicle now. Looks like it's heading towards the convoy. Uh, is that our HVT? Over. Long shot, Hammer 6, can you confirm? This is Long Shot, uh, can confirm the vehicle that is immediately to the west of UAZ with Gunner currently is standing still, uh, stage, or never mind, it's actually moving, um, is the one with HV HVT, it is a gas, over. Sog copy, unarmed gas has the HVT, maintain eyes on it until the convoy starts rolling out, we want to know which number in line it is, Eagle, I want you tracking that vehicle every step of the way, if they move ahead one car, back one car, we want to know. Eagle copy is currently checking. Hammer 6, this is long shot. Uh, we're keeping an eye on the gas. It appears to be the only one with lights off, and it is the last gas in the line of three. Over. Sorry, copy. Eagle, did you copy that? Solid copy, Eagle's got good copy on that, uh, currently tracking. All units, we are hold fire until that HVT gets to his end destination, how copy? Eagle 1, good copy.
Stalker Eagle Hammer 6, uh, once we know what direction and road they're heading on, please give us some kind of indication on the map. That way we can uh, start plotting our uh, ability to follow. How copy? Eagle 1, solid copy. Uh, currently going eastbound on MSR, over. Eastbound on MSR, solid copy. Eagle, maintain ice. Hammer 6 out. Hammer 1, let's go ahead and have our guys roll out to uh, the soda. We'll stay on the uh, on the northern side of it in the tree line once we get there and have some nice cover. My assumption is they're going to be heading to the Chernogorsk uh, uh, docks. I'll copy. Hammer 6, Stalker 1, uh, do you copy? Over. Stalker 1, this is Hammer 6. Solid copy, send your traffic. Roger, uh, we're going to be moving onto the road now to pursue the target. We'll be keeping a good distance. Does Eagle 1 have eyes on and able to track the location? Eagle 1, Hammer 6, Hammer six Eagle 1, uh, target vehicle currently going southbound on uh, ASR in Chernogorsk. Over. Solid copy. Eagle, uh, maintain eyes for now. Uh, let us know where he ends up. Eagle one copies. Stalker copies all. Moving to pursue the target will not engage. Hammer 6, this is Eagle 1, uh, target resuming eastbound, uh, just north of the docks of Chernogorsk, over. South copy, Eagle 1, uh, Hammer 6, out. Eagle One Stalker on, uh, is he holding in that position right now inside the town? Stalker Eagle One, uh, negative, currently moving, uh, southbound again along the dock of Turunogorsk, over. Uh, break, convoy has stopped, uh, target vehicle resuming movement. Eagle One, Hammer Six, if you could possibly mark the general area of that convoy stopped position for us, that would be lovely. Solid copy, uh, Hammer, wait one. Eagle One just lost visual to target vehicle, went underneath a uh, awning. Wait one, we'll mark. Eagle One, if marking it makes you lose the target, uh, don't worry about it. We'd rather know where the target is than that convoy. How copy? A firm target vehicle marked. Uh, we'll mark convoy. Stop location now. Hammer Six, Eagle One, marks placed. 
break, uh, looks like, uh, they stopped by what looks like a, uh, ferry or a trawler of some sort. Over. Solid copy, Eagle. Stalker 1, Hammer 6, how copy? Stalker 1, send message. Uh, I'd like you to get set up uh, near that church on the southern side of Chernogorsk. I might have you guys uh, cross the little uh, opening there in the docks, uh, come in from the southwest silently while uh, Hammer 1 comes in from RP Bravo, how copy? Stalker 1 copies. You want us to set up at the church that we're currently at, which is north of Trenarsk, and then move uh, as required down towards the southeast to ambush target. Is that read back, Greg? Uh, negative, Stalker. I've marked an RP Charlie. That's the church I'd like you to set up at, and then head potentially across the water. How copy? Stalker 1 solid copy. Adjusting position now. Hitman, this is Eagle One, uh, raising altitude to 4,000. We'll stand by, ready for strikes. Over. Eagle One checking in, long range frequency 35. Eagle One taking off from airfield, uh, requesting target services ASAP. Over. He's taking off now. Charges placed on the MIA and uh, we're moving forward. Solid copy, you're clear to pull Hitman, back. Hitman, this clear. is Eagle 1, NAO, AGF 3, Angels 3, uh, way to task you. Eagle 1, break, break. We just had a Vic leave on the MSR heading east from the docks. Make no, sure that target going. does not they get away. Stay. How copy? Eagle One has eyes on. Clear to engage. All clear. Eagle One rolling in on target. Absolute shit. Eagle one rifle.
Hammer six, hammer six, this is Eagle One. Break, break. Uh, escaping vehicle has been eliminated. One times enemy dismount, over. Can you repeat last? Uh -huh. Enemy vehicle that, uh, dis that uh, was eastbound on MSR from target location has been eliminated. One times dismount, over. I copy. Eagle One, uh, that dismount aims to die just in case it's our HVT gun run approved. Uh, Roger that. Eagle One uh, requesting one times GBU drop on target. Over. Of this Bravo, Bravo's uh, when he seems returning back to the previous position. Uh, no sign of that one bit. Eagle One rolling in hot. There's one marine over there on the other side. Drop there. Here. Captain Eagle. Camera actual Godfather, step to your uncle. Godfather, Hammer 6 actual here. Uh, sit rep to follow. Uh, all teams engaging at this time. Uh, we have neutralized one times civilian MI, uh, as well as one times vehicle that attempted to escape to the northeast. Eagle's coming around for uh, GBU drop to kill one times dismount, just in case that was our HVT. Additional, so far, uh, no casualties uh, have been reported. How copy? Hammer 6 Godfather copies all. Uh, well done. Uh, secure the intelligence, destroy any of any equipment that you find in Mexico as soon as possible. Hammer 6 copies all. Godfather, Wilco, out. Eagle 1, pickle, pickle. All teams cleared on all targets. Make sure uh, we do a sweep for any additional intel. We want to make sure we find out who that HVT was selling to, and we want to make sure that he's toast. How copy? Be advised, friendly units, uh, looks like Stalker's moving just near that warehouse. Still one copy, so we also has intel on him, but we shall bring him along. Solid copy, uh, bring all intel as well as the... Break, uh, break, break, system. Eagle 1 on frequency 3-0, two times, BTR is moving westbound on the MSR, requesting clearance to engage. Cleared hot, Eagle. Message from Hammer 6, out. Hammer 1, you are to come to Stalker's uh, X-Fill. Stalker, you are to X-Fill north across the land bridge. We are pulling out. How copy? Hammer 1 copy. Hammer 6, Godfather, uh, what's the status of the enemy intel that you guys, uh, were they able to discern, uh, discern anything from it? Godfather, uh, Hammer 6, it appears uh, we have received a manifest that details the transport and delivery of black market goods. How copy? Uh, Godfather copies all. Uh, was there anything else there? Docker 1, or scratch that. Godfather 1, Hammer 6. Uh, it appears uh, they also have one air and one mechanized platoon at their disposal. I'm assuming that's probably the QRS that's inbound right now as we're trying to pull out. Uh, we're taking some serious armored contact. No sign on air as of yet. We'll have Eagle stand by though, just in case.
Camera one, fall back north to RT Bravo and prepare for remounting fix. Break, break, Eagle well. one, frequency three five, uh, eyes on two times, MI eight, uh, west, east side of AO. How copy, over. Solid copy, Eagle. We've been, uh, we found some intel about a mechanized platoon as well as an air platoon. Uh, be advised you're cleared on any air at this time. I don't want to take any chances. How copy? Eagle one engaging. Long shots, this is going to be fixed. Uh, getting out of that tower, we're going to start at the building. We're going to want to do a deep glass as possible. Uh, Stalker, if you've got extra seats in your home, you may want to put them up. I'll copy. I'll copy, we have one seat available. Camera 6 Godfather, were you able to ascertain the, uh, were you able to check and see what kind of equipment was being transferred, or do you just have the ship manifest over? Godfather, Hammer 6, uh, we were not able to ascertain what the uh, specific goods were, um, just the details of transport and delivery. Uh, are we missing something? Uh, advise destroy enemy, any enemy equipment that you might find. Uh, suggest you call an eagle uh, to bomb that, uh, that harbor as best you can. Uh, you are not clear on any civilian targets, so he needs to check his fire. One time, aim 20 remaining, two times, MI8 left, we'll engage last target with guns, and then I'll be Winchester first. Probably come to you, uh, you can't hit the target pod, your, uh, your primary target at this time. How come? Solid copy, uh, Eagle One requests, uh, description of target pods, over. Dr. One, from the uh, good, we're surprised. We have one seat available. Doctor, Hammer 6, uh, belay that. Uh, Hammer 6 will pick up uh, long shot. Uh, in a rocket if we're able to find any additional equipment uh, uh, in that dock when you were there, and uh, are there explosives set on them at this time? Doctor 1, uh, there was additional vehicles in both can handle boxes as is, but we were unable to uh, put any more charges besides what we did on the uh, aircraft itself. Feel free to go ahead and demo everything else in there here and clear of all civilian first. Solid copy. Eagle, do you think you're able to do that for us at this time? Or would you be out of ammo? Uh, negative. Eagle 1 currently out of ammo. Uh, break one time. MI8 remaining. Uh, heading heading to your guys' location now from the east following the ASR. Correction, MSR. Over. Solid copy, Eagle. Take out that MI and return to base for rearm. Refit. Uh, interrogative Eagle 1 currently Winchester on everything. Uh, no armaments remaining. Over. Solid copy. Uh, Going to plan uh, go ahead to the the FOB. got wrecked during exfil. Uh, final two vehicles are inbound to FOB at this time and approximately two to three mics out. Over. Hammer 6 Godfather, roger that. Uh, uh, don't see anything else on... Uh, not hearing any more comms, Shatter. I think you're clear. Go ahead and uh, rally back up at the FOB. 
Uh, we'll call mission and Godfather Hammer 6, copy all, Oscar Mike, we'll go over, out. All right, let's uh, let's do a circle up, guys. Circle up, boys. Around the campfire, it's a great the, around uh, the campfire. Gather around the campfire <laughs> and come meet some friends of mine. There's blood all over. Yes. Oh, this is well, for friends that, that's ears, My ears hearing got blew out, blown out from the a the AR that was next to me, shooting like three inches from my ear. Whoever. That's oh, fine. It's coming. Back. There we go. Can I can I grab this flare and throw it? Much brighter fire there. I have your earplugs in. I have my earplugs in. So right oh, right then, then we'll, the the ringing will go away in a second. All right, boys, All right, take, uh, us, take us on. Everybody, if you got something to say, stand. If you don't, crouch on down. Take a seat. Take a seat if you don't have anything to say. Yeah, that works. All right, stand so let's start God with uh, old Kreiner. We'll end with you. Um, okay. All right, Ticknor, go ahead. Um, so like, I thought that was like super actually like realistic in the way you know like the special ops. You know, they they infiltrated the town and then you know we were there and for reactionary force. So I thought the setup was actually like really really fun to be a part of. Um, uh, the extra was super dirty, but hey, whatever. We got a firefight. Um, I just wanted to say that it's super awesome. You can shoot out lights. I didn't know that, so thank you guys for teaching me that. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise it was fun. <laughs> Say thank you, Gasper. I said thank you, guys, but sure. Oh, okay. All right, um, Geki, go ahead. What up? It's your boy Eagle. Uh, yeah, really fun <laughs> op from the perspective of Eagle as well. Uh, the tension was real. I pretty much had an AGM 65D locked on that vehicle the entire time, just waiting to pop it. But uh, yeah, definitely, I was I was really waiting to see just what kind of orders you guys would give for it because that was kind of uh, what I was going for was I wanted you guys of course to get some action I tried my best to balance that out as best as possible and uh, the fuel tanks on there really limited my loadout but those definitely helped so shout out to Viscosity for reminding me about that but aside from that uh, felt nice to play as big of a role as I did on that one because the constant recon was actually a lot of fun and will make for a decent video And I have to say, you were the biggest pain in my neck because all I ever, about half of the QRF I tried to send in against you guys was shot down before it got anywhere close. So if you thought it was a little boring on your exfil, it was because your pilot was murdering everything he could see. And uh, I finally had to call him off when he started shooting up civilians. But uh, yeah, there was a BTR the air, heading towards that from town. The air, everything looks the same, I suppose. Yeah, there was a BTR heading heading into the town and I was all I had was the guns so I was trying to get a gun solution on it and uh, let's just say a few civilians here and there a couple snakes but you know I was given an order by my JTAC to kill so hey, oh, yeah. losses, and you did losses. all right uh, anything else you nah that's all all right Carpacci go ahead I think it was another good one there McGee um but maybe I more have uh, Geki to thank for it. I was going to say, you know, I thought it was a decent amount of troops, you know, decent composition of opposition uh, when it came to, uh, you know, the types of units that were placed, where they were placed, how many were placed. I thought the pacing was, was just about right to make it feel not too, like, uh, you know, um, running gun. Michael Bay, yeah, right? Yeah. So, um, Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty excellent, and my fire team did excellent, and squad comms were great, and uh, I think everything held together pretty damn good for uh, you know, uh, puppy server out, you know. Good stuff. Thank you. Uh, Corporal Mize, go for it. Mize, I think you're on Whisper. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. So everything uh, from what I could see looked like it went very smoothly. Um, no, I just wish I was able to take that shot. Uh, had three, four times had a perfect shot on the uh, VIP, but you know it is what it is. Um, other than that, comms sounded great, 
and it looked like everyone moved pretty fluidly. So good job, guys. I do promise one of these days to get uh, Sniper Team a mission where they do have to uh, take a shot before everybody goes in. In Thank this you. instance, since uh, one of the big secondary objectives was recovering the intelligence, and the second you made contact that uh, those QRFs started coming in, it was um, it was in your best interest to wait, you know, basically until the last possible second to. Uh, yeah, before, while everybody was set up. So I mean, it was a good decision not to take the shot because then I don't know that you would have had time to get in there and get out before uh, before the QRF overwhelmed you. Yeah, that's but, true. Uh, but Jill did a good job with your callouts and you identified the... Uh, uh, Kreiner was there talking to me the whole time, basically like, can I mess with the uh, sniper team? Because, you know, I was giving him a little bit of insight into where, what y'all were doing since it's kind of boring for him. But uh, if he waved at you or anything, uh, he wasn't supposed yeah, to. Yeah, but... he did. He did a lot, so that, that's why I was at the point of like almost pulling the trigger. Yeah, I figured. Oh, I you, wanted he, you to pull that trigger. Yeah, he was wanting to taunt the hell out of you. Yeah, I probably um, shot him in the leg and gotten away with it. Oh <laughs> no, I, I think I would have blown his kneecap off. <laughs> All right, let's see. Anybody else? Um, okay. Uh, Viscosity, I'll let you go, and then I'll let Kreiner and me have their word in Geki. You, you had so you, did you want to add your comment now? You said you had something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really Go salty that my TFR crashed like right as it was getting good. Like seriously, all that tension, all that recon, just sitting there waiting. Like, come on, let's just let's pull the trigger on this. And then my TFR crashed, and I had to rejoin. I oh my, I was so salty about that. Oh, but you came in just in time, man. Like, that, that vehicle was flooring it out of town, and like I said, I wasn't sure if the HVT was in there or not, so we needed it destroyed. Yeah, who was in that vehicle? Because just one dude got out. It was yeah. a random guy, but it was supposed to be a, uh, yeah, like kind of a false positive to make you sweat a little bit. Ah. It was just one of the officers trying to get away. Oh, it didn't make me sweat. I just kind of hit him with an AGM, but yeah. Well, he would have gotten a lot further, but my game froze. <laughs> Because I had to take over and drive him out of there because he wasn't didn't want to do anything. <laughs> but uh, my game froze about three quarters of the way out, and uh, I was like, "Well, uh, he's on his own now. We'll see what happens." Can you see but, this uh, light at all from the campfire? Yeah. Is it like Wait. underneath it? <laughs> I think so. You may want to throw that the other way there, Henderson. All right, viscosity. Uh, go ahead. All right. Uh, so that was my uh, wait. Am I yelling? Yeah. There we go. So uh, that was my first time platoon leading, I think, uh, on TAC-2. Uh, that was a little wild. Um, thanks to everybody for uh, keeping it together, uh, moving as fluidly as you did. Comms were great. We all knew at like every step of the way what was going on, which was absolutely crucial in a mission like this. Uh, unfortunately, long shot, I did have to hold you off on that target um, just because we were waiting for Stalker to get across the water. They were being... Uh, extremely cautious um so sorry to everybody who was uh, waiting there we were just i just really wanted to make sure we were all in position because uh you never know in a mission like this if the hvt is going to make a run for the you know the, the chopper and try and get out which uh was kind of we were one of those for that too though yeah one of those things that i was worried about in the back of my mind especially with eagle having logged off because you know if if, if long shot missed the shot then you know he takes off in a chopper and what do we do we've got at4s and maws you know uh, so I, I'm usually someone who likes to be extremely cautious with stuff like that, so that's uh, that might be a personal character flaw, but I uh, just wanted to say thanks for uh, what I saw as an amazing op from my uh, standpoint. Uh, I mean, my ears were constantly going off, so I, I mean, if you guys had a slow moment, it was, you can guarantee something was going on over long range in one of the channels. <laughs> but, you did a good job, man. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, Scotty out. All right, Kreiner, you can, uh, so the, he, Kreiner was your, uh, your target, so he was the one that was, uh, um, I gave him free reign, I, li I hand tied his hands a little bit, uh, I didn't want him, like, doing too much crazy stuff, but, uh, I gave him free reign as far as, kind of, some of the stuff he was doing, but, uh, go ahead. Uh, long shot, yeah, I was bored, that's why I messed with you so much, because I knew you wouldn't take the shot, <laughs> or were instructed not to take the shot, so, uh, what would you I did have done that if a we lot, had actually kept you. I would have crawled back into cover and just hid the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been interesting for sure. Or maybe I would have gotten in a helicopter and flown away. Uh, crawled over there with your 
pulling up like. I think if I had a little bigger gun, I would have survived a bit longer, but because I, I tried uh, shooting. Was it Nomad with a Glock? Like, fu like I probably put seven rounds in him, and I think his body armor stopped them all. I didn't I even missed. feel a kick, man. You missed every shot. Yeah, <laughs> or I think there was actually a window in there I couldn't shoot through. That oh, was the I, biggest I thing. I put like four rounds through it. Yeah, no, no, but my gun couldn't, but your gun could. You know what I mean? Excuses. Yeah, the, I'm full of them. So. Sure, bro. But yeah, I think it was fun. It was really cool being on the other side. I had binoculars the whole time, and the, whatever team was in the construction site, I, it was really cool just watching you guys like move up and stuff. I don't know. I thought it was cool. That's all I have to say. Well, Craner, you, you put your time in this time, and I know it was a little boring. So next time I do one like this, where I'm going to have a human op for, I might uh, might give you something more fun to do. Um, maybe a yeah, little counter know. sniping. I or something enjoyed it. Like I, that. Think, I thought it was cool. Except following the convoy, man. They need to learn how to drive. Ooh, actually, yeah. Well, let's say I I was seeing that a couple <laughs> times. I rear that was hilarious. Four times. I had a bandage. Because I kept was, in the convoy. There was some flatbed truck that like ran into you guys or something like that. It was oh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. He. <laughs> He was coming the opposite way, and we almost took him out. <laughs> it was yeah. awesome. One more thing to add on my end. Uh, <laughs> three of us actually ended up uh, being left behind during the exfil because we rear-ended uh, the middle car. <laughs> so we, we had the same issue on our end. Uh, I, I don't know. Personally, I think the exfil was, was exciting. It was uh, yeah. we, we took a long time making sure we destroyed those assets. We were actually all pulled out. I, I had actually forgotten it as an objective to destroy those, so we had to double back and head back in there for that, which I think is why we got hit by the QRF. Otherwise, I think we would have been basically on our all of us on our way out when the paratroopers came in if we had it destroyed it. But uh, that's uh, that's on me for uh, forgetting about objectives. <laughs> Well, and I should have reiterated it too, because uh, your map markers are there. You don't see them as well when you're in Zeus, so it's probably why I didn't notice. But uh, I should have reiterated that. Yeah, the, the three primary were kill the HVT, um, secure the man, you know, secure manifest or you know, basically who he's selling to, and then identify what the equipment is. Because the shipping manifest just say crate one going to so and so, da da, da. and um, and then destroy it. You know, as the, the implied third objective. But uh, I mean, all in all, um, from my perspective, uh, so, well, first off, a little side note for anybody, the Cessnas need four, more than 400 meters of runway to take off. So if you saw yep. Kreiner die in the very beginning, that uh, was because he wasn't, he couldn't get it off the ground before it, uh, the road curved, because I had him taken off from a road in the southwest. Oh so he, HVT came in in a uh, chopper instead. Um but uh, your initial, you initially, initial comms with spotting them were very good, and uh, you did a, Geki did a really good job uh, trailing them to the compound and really, your communication, your comms were very good in that, um, in that aspect. Um, I hoped the number of civilians was good. I, I really threw a whole hell of a lot of them out there just to, you know, for anybody that had thermals, you wouldn't be able to just at a glance see who was friendly, who wasn't. Um, when you got to um, Cherno and you deployed into the town, I thought your your tactics were really good. You split up in a logical way. Uh, there was no really good assault point. I purposefully picked that dock because there's no way to really get across it. Um, but y'all uh, y'all did a good job with just laying out fire and killing everything before you got across. Um, you prioritized the AA and the HMG, got those down almost immediately. And then um, other than um, having to double back real quick to, to uh, destroy the equipment, I mean, it was almost flawless, so good job. And like I had said earlier, there were some QRFs that were supposed to come in. Back, you know, come in. Um, I you detailed that in the intel package, one of the intel packages you picked up, so you knew exactly what was coming in. Um, but Geki was, again, um, wrecking face out there, so there wasn't a whole hell of a lot left to, uh, to get at y'all. But uh, yeah, all, well, I enjoyed will lie, it. after he did that, <laughs> after we found that intel, I immediately was like, Geki, you're clear hot on all armored and air targets. <laughs> and uh, literally, did. as he said, cleared hot, I ripped a missile off the uh, F-16. It was hilarious. So, thank you very much to Viscosity uh, for stepping up for command, and uh, thank you everybody else for, tis for participating. And, I have one more uh, thing to say, McGee. Yep, go ahead. Uh, the only thing, after after the fact, I found out 
Even when I was in the building, Longshot knew exactly where I was because of all the windows. So maybe future reference, building with less windows. Or nah, I that's not as fun, though. <laughs> I debated they about knew putting I was another on the one out there, on but... The what? Yeah, I debated about sticking another one out there, but honestly, that, that it was the whole... You know, it was a creepy warehouse. Yeah. I thought it was the perfect place for a black market deal to go down. So, yeah. I guess. I mean, the yeah. other issue was with that you were walking in front of the windows a lot. You're asking to get well, shot. Yeah, but... You're surprised they yeah. didn't just take the shot. I would have told them if they had a clear shot to shoot you. Fuck that. Take the shot. We'll <laughs> go in there after you're done. And I uh, almost took dead. the shot like three times. So, <laughs> you should have. Well, well, no matter if you guys were across well, the I water, guess I would have. <laughs> I was well, waiting for you guys because I didn't want a turkey shoot. And you guys, you said ranked. swim. I wasn't being extra careful. I was fat and I couldn't move fast. That didn't yeah, I, I was like, kind of looking at that too. I'm like, oh, they they got a, quite a while to swim there. Yeah, they yeah, I, uh... the, the two man teams to ensure I didn't get ripped apart and had no one left if anything happened in the water. Ah, oh, that's what long shots for. <laughs> Everybody can keep, keep talking, but I'm gonna go ahead and close the AAR and um. And if you if you want to go play the AO or disconnect, I I won't be running another one tonight just because it's it's late enough that I'm gonna probably head off to bed. But um, uh, but yeah, y'all can hang around here for a little bit and keep talking if you want to. But this way, anybody who wants to leave can just go do it to it. Yeah, Zilbin Zilbin's body's not done cooking right now, so we gotta wait for that. Yeah, no, she got turn him over. Yeah, he's walking. Oh, Curtis got something. Curtis got something. Curtis got something. Hold up. Hold up. Hey guys, this is my first night uh, as part of 7th Cav. I just finished the boot camp. Uh, I just wanted to let you know this is my first time on Tab 2, and this was one of the most uh, interesting experiences I've ever had. This is probably one of the best best teams I've seen uh, on any Arma server for that matter, and the teamwork and everybody was just, it was amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm super impressed with the detail of this server and the links that y'all went to and that the uh, uh, the admins went through to uh, give us a fun time. I really do appreciate that, guys. Hey, I appreciate your Wait until you see we oh, get thanks, some big man. ops, uh, some yeah. actual like full-on mission made uh, operations going up around here. Because that should right. that's supposed to be happening kind of soon. Because we got uh, I think the message has gotten out to the Zeus a little bit that that's really like one of the things that they're supposed to do is make big kind of theater production ops. Yeah, yeah, man, wait till you Once do you a, a cav op where an actual cav guy's leading instead of me. <laughs> yeah, and instead of a fly. Bird Ergo, what, uh, what all this means is uh, join the cav. Yeah, yeah join, yeah, the, join cav. the cav. Join the cav, yeah, guys. Yeah, dusk. Get in there.